Hey everybody, I've been working on a new series, Road to Top 10, where I'm going to take actually the team you were looking at on the far side um, into the top 10 of Showdown's VGC ladder, just to show you it's possible. Team's pretty good. I wanted to share with you possibly the greatest battle I've ever had on Showdown, and um, there's a lot of things that can be said for this. One, don't ever get trapped by a Gothitelle with stuff that isn't going to do damage, and two, Pokemon is a game of both skill and risk management and luck. I don't know why I said both, but all three of those. And I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you, this is just this is just bad. I'm, I mean, this is just so bad. Anytime you go into a tournament, guys, you can only prepare so much because stuff like this might happen. And you just gotta be ready for that, you know? You just gotta be ready. So I'm on the far side, I'm playing against, I don't know, this is somewhere, we're like in the 1600s right now, so. So, clearly we probably both know what we're doing at least a little bit. Got the Telmanectric versus Amoongus Salamence. Telmanectric, definitely the Mega on his team. Um, so, I do make the mistake, I didn't think he was gonna lead these two. Um, my Salamence is physical though, so I'm going to get locked into Rock Slide here, I'm Scarfed. I get a flinch turn one, that's great. I'm a little, you know, able to put it to sleep. He might have psychic that turn. He might have trick roomed. I don't know. But either way, it's asleep because of that flinch. Awesome. One flinch in my favor. Perfect. No big deal. He megas now. Okay. Dropping my Salamence's attack. No big deal. Got the tell. Takes that mandatory sleep turn. That's cool. I thought the HP ice was going to head towards Salamence. Um, I rock slide again. Doing, eh, kind of not really that great of damage. I do eat an overheat. Um, wow, I thought I was going to not take as much damage that turn, but that was a great play on his part. Let's try to get rid of this Amoongus, because it is the threat on the field, especially since he has two Intimidators on his team, and I'm going to be locked in here getting Intimidated forever. I protect, anticipating another overheat, um, and I'm scarfed into Rock Slide, so I have to keep Rock Sliding. He goes for a Vault Switch. I block that with the Protect. In all honesty, it would have been better to take that and spore that spot this turn. Got the tail still sleeps which is great. Those leftovers really, pro you know, proving to be a pain for me since this is kind of long and drawn out, but um, he gets one avoid on the rock slide, so that's that's okay, whatever. Like, 90 accuracy, I've already hit it like six times. He vault switches into Salamence this time, and uh, I think he brings out his own Salamence. Yeah, so now my Salamence is at half attack. Locked into rock slide here. Galatel wakes up. Glorious second flinch. Who knows what that was going to do. Maybe Psychic finish off the Amoongus. No big deal. Um, as I spored the Manectric spot this time, and you know, learning from my previous turn's mistake. So that Salamence goes to sleep, which is awesome for me. Gothitelle's still in the green, though. Um, my opponent decides to protect Gothitelle. That's fine. I can't do anything. Gonna keep rock sliding. That actually does 26%, which is awesome, even though I'm at half attack. Salamence takes its mandatory turn of sleep, too. And I'm just, I'm just holding on here. I was like, oh god, what am I gonna do? I go to spoil the Gothitelle, but obviously it protected this turn. Get those leftover recovery, you know, and just basically, because my life, I have very little damage output right now. I'm, I'm stuck in here with a point, you know, minus three attack Salamence and an Amoongus. Like Amoongus, really, I'm going to have to start going aggro with Amoongus. Manectra gets another avoid um, right into this heal pulse. So it looks like I've done basically nothing all game. Fantastic. But I do get another spore up on this Gothitelle, and really he should have just gotten rid of this Amoongus. Uh, I, I know he's trying to he's trying to think like oh you know it's not a threat both of my things aren't a threat so he can just walk around heal up all of his Pokemon and then you know hopefully everything wakes up and then he can wipe out my front two and just deal with the back two but um, the Samungus is gonna prove to be a problem soon got the tell avoids a rock slide so that's like three misses whatever I do have two flinches already Salamence takes eh, good damage even though I'm at 0.33 attack Giga Drain doing big damage 15 almost 16 percent right 15.9 so. That's my way out. That's what I'm looking at here. I was like, alright, Amoongus is going to have to pull through. Because Rock Slide's doing nothing to got the tail as of right now. Salamence still sleeping. Perfect. That's great for me. Got the tail asleep. Yes. Keep Giga Trading. Go. Okay, so that's doing some pretty decent damage. Um, I know Leftovers is negate, you know, is, is helping heal a lot of this just because I'm not doing that much. But whatever. If it's sleeping, it's sleeping. Oh man, put Salamence into KO range for next turn. It wakes up though, and it flinches. Third flinch, 
Got the toe wakes up and it flinches. Fourth flinch. Great. Double flinch on the double wake up turn. Perfect. Now Salamence is within KO range as is Gothitelle after that Giga Drain flinch that Gothitelle this turn. So. Oh wait, no. I think it's just out. I think it's just out because of the, the... Yeah, it's out because of the leftovers heal. Which is a little unfortunate, but he didn't want to lose Salamence yet. Um... Because he, he, he couldn't get the heal pulse off before I got a rock slide up. I am at 0.29 attack. Was that like minus 5 or something? He just keeps... I haven't even seen his fourth Pokemon yet. I protect anticipating that overheat. I don't want to lose a Moongus because it is my main way to KO Got the Tell right now. Um, but, I mean, not that... Yeah, every turn I don't get a hit off on Got the Tell. It's healing up quite a bit of health, even though it's just leftovers recovery. Um... Go for another rock side because like i said i have to get a flinch what is that like five fifth flinch double flinch again look at that six flinches this is great look at that 0.29 attack salamence moon gets coming through we finally get rid of this got to tell which means i'm finally allowed to switch which means regenerator on a moon gets, which means not 0.25 attack salamence i get intimidate back not that it seems like i've needed it yet since everything here has been a special attacker Switch out Salamence into my Meow Stick. Um, I mostly brought it because if a Zoom World goes Belly Drum, I like to swagger it because that's one of my ways of dealing with it. Protect the Moongus from another potential overheat. I think he does go to Volt Switch though. Oh, he goes for HP Ice this time. Um, into a Moongus' slot. Not really sure why instead of an overheat. Maybe he thought in case I switch, he didn't want to get the minus two special attack. I switched Salamence right into the spot he just HP Ice because I thought it'd be too obvious to HP Ice that slot twice and he might go for an overheat this time. Go to Paralyze Salamence because Priority Thunder Wave is great. Instead, he Volt Switches Meow Stick, which is, that's fine. He's going to switch out to whatever his last Pokemon is. I finally get to see it. It's Conkeldur. And I think my Salamence eats a Life Orb Fire Blast, which actually does a quite a bit of damage. That's actually a lot of damage, huh? But, you know, Life Orb is going to soon finish it off if it's already not already in, you know, Rock Slide range. Um, I chime the Conkeldur because I don't want to start taking a lot of damage. I want to weaken it so my Kangaskhan can come out later. Go for a Rock Slide. I think he gets to attack, though. I think he gets, like, a Poison Jab off. Oh, he gets his own Rock Slide off, which my Salamence misses. That's great. And it just heals my Meow Stick. It just hits it into Citrus Berry range, so I have more health than I did last time. And, man, his commentary is so funny. Manectric comes back out to weaken my, uh... Did I even Rock Slide last turn? Oh, no, I switched in, so I, I didn't. But I tried the Conkledur again. I'm going to go for a Rock Slide now, um, just because I wanted to make sure I could get more flinches. I don't think I... Yeah, I do. Okay, oh, my God. Yeah, seven. Seven flinches. That's not, that's not too bad. Conkledur goes out because he's been charmed too many times. Kind of useless. He is sending the Salamence pretty much to sack it right now because this Rock Slide, if it hits, it's going to do him in. Swagger the Manectric because I don't want it attacking me if I can help it. Um, but so long as this Rock Slide hits, Salamence has done its job. But between Swagger, Confusion, and Rock Slide, he has a less of a chance of attacking than, you know, actually getting to attack. So it would be, yeah, he, he flinched again. That's like nine, I think. I think that's at nine. No big deal. No big deal. Out goes Salamence. In comes my Amoongus again because I'm trying to preserve the 4-0 just because this is literally the worst battle I've ever seen basically uh, it's, it's definitely up there he vault switches but like I said like it's not gonna I mean it's not really gonna do that much to a Moongus Meowstic takes a critical hit poison jab because it's been charmed so I, mean, I guess it, it it ignores the charm I just got great defenses that spreads on my website www.flabaybay.bay if you want to see that spread on Meowstic rage power the Moongus like I said I don't want to get punched by Conkledur um, he does go for rock so he gets the crit uh, and then Amoongus avoids. That's great. I'm pretty sure at this point, Manectric never gets to attack again. Yeah, I think it just it just KOs itself. Um, I may get Protect here because I wasn't sure if it was safety goggles. And I'm desperately trying to hold the 4-0. I don't know. Just because, I, just because the game was so ridiculous already, I thought it would be funny to 4-0 on top of it. Um, just kind of to be slightly like a douche. But I mean, like, it, yeah. Like, look at how bad this is. He hits himself again. He wasn't safety goggles. I can just Rage Powder and... I, I actually sucker punched Manectric in case he got... I didn't want him to overheat in case he attacked that turn. But I, get, I got a crit, so whatever. Did a little bit of damage. Definitely within frustration range now. Takes his mandatory turn to sleep. And, um... So that's why I Giga Drain there. I knew he was going to sleep. He couldn't... He couldn't punch me that turn. I Rage Powder here. And, um... Yeah. So there, there goes that. So, I was like... I don't know. What was I? I was like 16... 
But I think the score is going to come up on the side. Maybe it won't. Yeah, I was, um, uh, that put me into like 16, 17. He was a 16, 19. And, um, I mean, that's just, clearly, he wasn't a bad player. That was just the worst possible luck. Like, can you, can you believe that? But there were so many, there was two turns of double flinches where if either one had attacked, he could have clearly got rid of my Moongus. I had really put myself in a deep hole getting stuck against, you know, Gothitelle's lock with two things that, you know, soon couldn't do damage because of all that Intimidate. However, you know, it's, it is what it is. I mean, you're just, you're going to have games like this. So whenever you go to a tournament, just remember, you can be prepared, but you can never guarantee yourself victory. There's always going to be something out there that could stop you that's outside of your control. You know, you can, you can maneuver yourself into positions where you can minimize the potential hacks, but you never know if that fire blast is going to crit and burn you to break your sash and KO you that turn. Like, you just, you never know. Um, either way, guys, I'm working on that road to top 10. I'm actually editing it right now. I thought I'd upload this just to entertain you guys for a day. And, um, oh man, if you guys, don't forget, if you guys, I'm going to actually post maybe, maybe I'll post the chat log because the chat was really funny. Um, and the meow stick spread's definitely on my website, www.flabay.bay. Check it out if you want. And if you don't, that's okay too. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow on episode one of Road to Top 10 with this very team because the team's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching, and see you next time.